Hi, this is Chris Lavin from Extreme Polishing Systems. Uh, saying hello to everybody out there on YouTube. And we are doing this because someone asked us to make a video on how to uh, change a belt on the Concrete Genie. A lot of different machines on the market, some of them have belts and some are just driven by gears. Um, most of your planetary machines have a multiple belt system where it takes sometimes several hours to change belts if you can even find the belt. Uh, the nice part about us at uh, Extreme Polishing Systems is we our belts are very easy to get. You can go down to an auto parts store and you can get a regular, uh, regular size belt. This is a belt that comes from Dayton. It's a premium V belt. Okay, this is what's going to be needed for this project. Okay, you're going to need to have some variable speed tools back here. You can get your little Makitas or you can get any DeWalt uh, 3 8 or a half inch uh, variable speed reversible drill will work fine. Um, you're going to have your regular socket, open end socket set, Phillips, Phillips screwdriver, you have a crow type bar here. This is, a num this is a number eight Allen wrench and you're going to have your regular adjustable wrench. Anyways, uh, Santiago Alvarez is the master mechanic at Extreme Policy Systems and uh, he's assembling the machines 100% anything ever happens to a machine, okay. he's the gentleman that repairs it here for the company, okay? So he knows this machine backward and forward and he's going to take us through what to do when your machine doesn't seem to be running properly or you're not getting the proper speed on your plates on the bottom. It normally means that you have some type of a loose belt or maybe a belt issue. With that, Santiago, and by the way, we're doing this only because somebody asked us to do it. We have very, very little problems with our belts. Um, out of all the machines on the market, we counted maybe two or three people we've had to send a belt to. So, anyways, you got it, Aunt Santi. Okay, first of all, we're going to start by checking the belts. Um, you can see here, to the side of the machine, there's an opening. Just make sure that they're not loose or tight before you replace them. You don't want to go through the whole work if uh, it's not necessary. Uh, if you need to tighten the belts, uh, first, first step, there's going to be four bolts. One, two, three, four around the motor. You're going to need the, the three quarters uh, socket and just make them loose. You can press a little bit, the, the, the fire glass there won't break. And loose them. And take them out, just loose them a little bit. Okay, so after you loose all, all, the, all the bolts around the motor, this one is hard to access. You need the adjustable wrench. Go down under the, it's right under the, the electric box of the motor. Just have to loosen. It. It's kind of hard. That's the only, that's the hardest part to do, I think, to access that one there. But a little bit of double D40 or any kind of uh, uh, lubricant will help you. Yeah. Make sure your machine is clean every time you service it. It makes it way easier too. Yeah, I would say that one of the bigger things about the Genie, uh, a lot of people neglect their machine. Yeah, you, you, you have a large expense when you buy a machine, whether it's a Genie or any grinding machine, make sure that you clean off the machine after every use. Like, yeah. The biggest problem we see is most people just abuse the machines, they got slurry all over it, they don't maintain it, and when you don't maintain a machine, if you don't do what you're supposed to do to it, you know what I'm saying, it, it's, it's going gonna, it's gonna to wear it down quicker. Yeah, one thing that we sell that is really good is that Gaun concrete remover. It helps yeah. uh, removing all that uh, concrete, especially, especially when it hardens, and then you just have to water it out, off, so it makes it way easier. So the four bolts are already loose. Next thing, you want to tighten up the belt. There's a tensor down below. If you want to tighten it up, you tighten it. It's, you're gonna you're gonna get a feeling, and you're gonna see the motor moving too backwards. In this in this case, because we're gonna replace the belts, we're gonna loosen it, loosen it. So we're gonna loosen it all the way and just make it all loose. Well, you can pull it out if you want to. It's not a big deal. So that motor, you have to push it forward as much as you can. And then 
you're gonna retight a little bit the bolts because you don't want that motor to come backwards. You don't have to, just one is enough. Next step, we're gonna take the water tank off. You'll see the screws there with a Phillips screwdriver. Pull them out. Four screws to it. Then, you have to disconnect the water hose. You don't want to break it. We have the replacements, but still. Make sure you keep all the clips to the tank. So these are uh, quick nuts, they call them. So, make sure you save them all. You're gonna need them to replace them, uh, the water tank on. Tilt it backwards. That kickstand is real nice. Yeah, it helps a lot. So, with the help of the crowbar, pull them out. Easier to remove a loosened one, yeah. right? Yeah, you know, it's just like that. I didn't make the motor loose enough. That's what it's giving me a hard time. Yeah. So, just take them off. That's it. The belts are removed right now. Uh, well, these belts are completely good still, so I'm gonna just put them back on. But we have the replacements. We sell them here, or you can find them in any auto, auto shop too. Uh, I want you to show this here. Uh, you see, there's the, you can see, it's gonna be, it, there's two belts, of course, so make sure that you, when you, whenever you set them up, you have to put them in order. Now it's gonna be really hard for them. Where right, you have one smaller belt and one bigger belt. Yeah, so. But there's one that goes to the bottom, so make sure you have them in order. You know, it's gonna be a really hard work. Hi, hey, Jaji. How you doing? So make sure if you're gonna set up the top one first, you're gonna be messed up. So make sure you put on the bottom first, put it in, and then go and work with the top one. You can help yourself with the plates with the magnetic plates, spinning them, just to make sure to keep your hands away, because that hurts a lot. And you can spin. So you spin it, it's gonna come in by itself. Top one is done, now we're gonna do the bottom one. Same thing, just put it on, spin the plate, both of them are on, make sure they're in position, you can show it there if you want to. This top and bottom. Again, make sure that you set up the bottom one first and then the top one, if not, you won't be able to do it. So the belts are on. Next step, heat up the machine again. Using that bolt that we had previously tightened for installation purposes. Now you redo back and Answer is in number eight Allen metric Allen wrench. Start tightening it up. You see the motor coming back. Okay, and make sure you want to tighten the 
the belts, but you don't want to over tie them either. They need to have a little play. So that's the way it should be. You can see it there. It's already installed. Next is just uh, tighten in the back, all the bolts in place. Make sure you do that. A lot of people forget to do it, so that the dog's gonna come loose. The machine is back uh, properly, but you can have it running now. Uh, oh, I forgot to connect the, hose, the water hose here. Just push it back in place. And let's see. You have another genie working nice and beautiful again. You're ready to do your job. That's awesome. Hey, listen, that's, that's your belt change. Really, like, the belt placing, we went over with the... Uh, the, the, the key way that shears off and the only other item that we're going to do on this genie is how to uh, work with the computer which we'll have Santiago do uh, on our next video. Um, I want to talk about two of the products that he had mentioned. 
that you make sure you keep keep your keep your genie clean. Okay, uh, it's your investment. This is Gone Concrete Remover. This is a product that we uh, have been selling for quite some time. The Mason contractors for removing mortar and keeping their uh, their trowels clean. Um, it's used for multiple purposes. We saw this to ready mix yards and 55 gallon barrels to keep their cement trucks uh, clean. Uh, but you can keep this and you can spray your you can spray your concrete genie with it. You know what I'm saying as a as a as a cleaning agent. And you can spray it underneath. You want you want to come here and watch this. All the concrete dust will just be eaten away. And you have to rinse it off. It's best to use a little bit of a high pressure washer, uh, which you can go and buy those for maybe $150 at Home Depot. And you can hook those up to your garden hose. But that will help keep the, the machine clean and remove all the concrete. It's a 100% biodegradable product. Uh, it's actual, uh, there's no acid. This is a uh, sugar derivative. This product here actually led to our product Easy Grind, which is sold in a concentrated formula. Um, and you're going to mix this product two to one, two gallons of water to every gallon, and you're going to pre, this is your pre cut Easy Grind. You're going to you're going to spray this down the night before you polish concrete, no matter how hard the concrete is, unless it's super soft. If you're scratching under a five, I wouldn't use it. But any concrete that's going to be higher uh, on the more hardness scale, we recommend that you use this product, Easy Grind. It makes your life a lot easier. You're going to get the job done a lot quicker, and it's going to cut down on your tooling costs. You won't go through as many metals when you use Easy Grind. So Easy Grind is available on 55-gallon drums. We sell 55 gallon drums for $2,200 and we also sell it in single gallons and five gallons. One gallon will cover about a thousand square feet. So you're just going to spray this on the concrete, let it sit overnight and come back and you'll, you'll, you'll cut that cap real easy with your, with your metal bond. You'll probably be able to step a 30 grit and go to a 70 or skip a 70 grit and go to a 120. Anyways, try any of these products, they're 100% money back guaranteed. Um, check out our new VIP, our VIP member uh, program at Extreme Polishing Systems. Uh, we're going to be having a new video on that that's going to be coming up, but uh, you want to stay tuned for that because that's going to be very exciting for anybody that is a, an avid shopper of Extreme Polishing System product. Thanks a lot and have a good day.